Hello watch fans, Berthier Watches here and this time for you we've got a watch that could have been made for a watch video. It wasn't because it was made circa 1955 we believe. Uh, this is an Ernest Borel cocktail and the word cocktail is written at the bottom along with mode de pose so this was their patent. They actually had the patent in 1952 1953 they launched the ladies watches and 1954 they launched the men's. Now this kaleidoscope effect on the dial is actually quite simply done. You have two discs and an hour hand. The hour hand is very boring, it's this one over here. It's a bit wider than the minute hand, it's easy to tell it's the hour hand. And if you saw it apart it would look just like an hour hand. The minute hand is actually a a disc with a pattern on it and the second hand is actually a clear disc with the same pattern on it. So as they pass over each other you get this kaleidoscope. I think there were six different patterns in all because as I say it's not difficult but it certainly is captivating. And if that wasn't enough look what else you've got going on. You've got a clear chapter ring that's because you've got the glass on the front and a full width case back. You don't see vintage watches with full width case backs very, or very rarely. But that shows off the ETA movement inside which is running very well. Nice to see little uh, chantons holding the jewels in which is quite a high end thing. And this isn't a novelty watch. The case is stamped just here, 40 microns, that's twice as thick as many quality watches four times as thick as some and it, the case is made by EPSA who went on to make the super compressor cases. Stylistically you've got everything going on, even these lugs. Why have boring lugs when you could have these? I'm not sure if you'd call them frog's legs, dog legs, sevens and owls, just look at them. But of course it's the kaleidoscope effect. Now this was a man's watch, it's a 32mm case, which is small for men today, so it would suit a lady as well. But frankly, no one's going to say, oh look, that's not, not an interesting watch, just because it's 32mm, not 34 All running nicely, and available now at berthierwatches.com. We've put a link in the comment, and you can always subscribe to see what else we've got coming in because we will always try and get interesting watches, especially in this condition. Probably the most interesting watch you'll see today. Thanks for watching.